subscribe to my youtube channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos hello everyone welcome to my channel in this part i'm going to work with how the detail of each product page okay so in this part we will learn how to work with use params and get particular id from url like let me see you need to uh, work with make sure Django server is running and your XAMPP is running okay and go to your react application see when you go to our particular API like we have ID of 1 and ID of 2 if you go to the API slash ID of 1 you'll it will give you the information of ID on ID of 1 product okay its name in name image prior description all of those things make sure in the URL you have ID of 1 if you go to the ID of 2 it will give you the information of ID of 2 then you can delete it, update it, whatever you want. But it is giving the information by its ID. So to work with that, you need to do something. Okay. So you need to configure some information, and you get all those ID from the URL using use params, and get products ID from the URL. This is very important. And get all the products given by the ID using axios.get and particular ID. And we show all the information of a detail page of each product. Okay. And we'll add all the link in the detail page we have this two button to update and delete all this product by its id okay so the update in the update will work in the next part of part five so till then watch it watch all my videos to learn all the concept now in this part i'm going to work with only the detail page okay and it will come all the information by its id so in the detail page product detail page we need to create a function rsc and here we'll have uh, h1 and it will have a product detail okay it will have a product detail so how we can route it in the app.js file we have all the routers so you can copy this thing and paste it here if you go to the slash slash dot id slash so if you go to individual product in the root directory if you go to the individual id so colon id okay so it will give you particular information from that particular id of that product so individual single product information you will get okay so like that in the url you have this api slash id so in the api you could go to the slash and dot its id and it will import the product detail page okay it is it is naming as product detail okay so as you can see product detail is also added from the components product detail file so very simple and let me add one more thing like for update we also use the dot slash id and slash update when you go to that url it will update it so we will input update fields to create an rsc okay it is update page okay so it's update page so in the app.js we need to update product update product page okay it's also added because it is only very similar it is getting the id from particular url and you can update it and when you go to the slash dot id it will give a particular product information by its id okay so these two things are super important and now our route is done okay now we need to work with product detail page the product detail page here you need to work with use state and to use it use effect okay so what we need to do we need to create a state which is product single product it is not products it is only a single product so product and if it is use state use state and this is single product you can select it as null okay because it's a single product information then we get const get single product okay get single product and it would be an asynchronous function async okay and it's gonna get cons data from the await and it will go to the axios select it and it will import axios press enter axios.get okay you can write using template string this one okay 
and delete all those things you need to go http localhost 8000 api and you need to use dollar and you need to get the information by its id now how can we get this id dynamically using use params for that you need to use const id using use params this hooks is used from react router to get all the url from the particular url that we want to get like if it is an id of 5000 it will go to the id of 5000 and it will get all this information by this id so this is a dynamic url that we are working on okay so which product information we want it will get all this information by its id using use params from this particular url okay so that's why i need a dynamic template a dollar sign and in the second bracket you write id it says give me the particular product information that i want from this id okay and we're gonna console dot log this out this data okay and then we can also set this data in the set product method you need to set this data that we currently getting okay in the set state now in the product we have all the information okay now we need to use use effect use effect and here you need to add one more asynchronous function make sure it is calling only one time that's why i need that and it's calling get single product okay when you run this a page when you go to the product detail page it will run this function it will render all the single product information make sure it is asynchronous and this information is coming as an await because we need to have a network connectivity to work with this data okay otherwise it will not work so we're setting all this data okay in the set state of the set product and now we have all the product and we in the on the product state we have all this information now we can render this out one by one in a div tag so this is a div tag and we need to have a class name and it will have a single dash product dash info okay and here and here in the p tag we have the product dot its name okay we can get all those information from this product and dynamically we are getting all this information all this product name from this particular id of this product from this particular url like we want to information of product of one and it is getting the id of one from the use params and, and by this id we are getting this information and setting all those data in this particular product okay that we got and now we have the access to product dot name so you need to save it and as you can see we have the information that is coming product name when you go to the product slash one if you go to the product slash two we want to get the information of product two it will showing the asus gaming laptop very simple and we can see the image as well okay image and it have a source it is product dot image okay as you can see you have the image and this name and you can work with the ui later just given a height of uh, 200 and width of 300 okay and we need to render this all this information like product dot price product dot description and product dot category okay all of this thing is coming and make sure we have the this class is added and go to app dot css and add a nice class to this okay and you can copy this from another django project that i have created for you guys and here in the source we have app dot css and you can copy this thing like you can copy all of those things and paste it here and save it go to our project as you can see it's looking beautiful and you can add a card style to it if you want but i'm not gonna make it that thing and we need a margin of 15 pixel 
padding of 5 pixel suppose okay it's looking nice and if you go to the id of one it is showing the information like that it looks really good okay so you are you can work with this CSS later more pro properly and perfectly I'm just showing you how to do it in a nice efficient way okay so make sure each height is 400 but is 250 I think it will look better on this iPhone image yes it looks better let me see how it looks on this product also it looks also good so the product detail page is done this is so simple just get this id from this use params from the url whichever product information you want and based on that you're gonna get exif.get that particular api you go to the particular api and in the dollar just save the id dynamic id from you get from this use params and based on that it will get all those data and in the set product you will set all of those data and now you have the product information each product information now you can render this out let me add a link okay and link habit to property and let me go to update this information first we need to add a class btn btn dash primary and this link is called update okay and copy one more link and make sure you import this link from react router dom and this is for delete okay so it will go to the update page and if you click on delete it will delete but we'll use the delete functionality later not in this video okay first we'll work with update and then we will work with delete so let me see how it looks okay we have update and delete button make sure the delete button is danger and you have a margin of two and give it a margin of two okay it looks far better so if we click on this update it should go to the update page okay so how can we do that you need to use two and it will route to update page now to use slash id it will go to particular product we have the product information like here we can go to the product dot id and use a dot uh, dollar sign and it will go to the product uh, product dot id okay slash product dot id slash update okay so it will go to the particular product id slash update that's why i need a template string because we are using a dynamic information it will go to the particular product id and it's update when you go there save it and in the app.js file we have the particular id slash update this is the see this should be matched properly okay detail okay it will go to the particular product slash update it will show the update page so if you click on this update it will go to the update page as you can see if we click on this it will go to the slash product slash id slash update okay so this is working fine so this is the thing that we have set up in this particular video thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video with an amazing content for you guys so till then subscribe to me and stay with me and give me some support i will give you a lot of amazing content so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video